Can we talk about it? I was going to leave this story alone, but now it's ramping up as all divorce proceedings do. And now we've reached a new level. So Jeezy against Jenny May has reached another chapter because now she's denying him of seeing their daughter because of concerns that he has too many firearms in his house. And shorty, you knew who this man was when you met him. This is young Jeezy. Put the bottom on the map. Do you know who this is? He hid at the yams at his auntie house. Why you now got concerns that he got too many firearms and guns? Just because Jeezy done changed and Jeezy is removed from the streets don't mean Jeezy still not streets. Sis, you knew you was marrying and apparently y'all didn't really know each other before y'all got married. I really want to know how they got together and the story behind their relationship because now it is entering a new chapter because she is still upset that he filed for divorce and wanted to get away from her. Women do not understand when a man is fed up and want to get away no matter how pretty y'all are. Y'all do not understand. We be tired of y'all. We just want to run away. And he filed for divorce. And this is a gangster. You know what I mean? A gangster rap legend. Why you didn't think he would have firearms in his house? And, and this is Atlanta. You can have as many firearms as you want in Atlanta. So, sis, I think you just manufacturing claims to add to the divorce proceedings to get a little bit more money and get a little leeway because you're a little bit hurt. Can we talk about it? You got concerns about firearms. He had the rest of the yams in his auntie house. All right? This is this is Jeezy. Young Jizzle. Can't ban the snowman, sis. You cannot ban the snowman. And I was really was going to leave their divorce proceedings alone. That's why I haven't talked about it yet. But now this is just hilarious. Listen, I'm not saying date who you date, love who you love. But certain people should not be in a relationship with each other because y'all are not compatible. It don't got nothing to do with race. It don't got nothing to do with skin color. It don't got nothing to do with nothing. Some people are just not compatible. And when we seen this relationship forming, we just knew something was up about it. Because just her whole attitude towards people and stuff like that. I forgot one episode on The View or whatever, whatever show she on, The Fake View. Um, she was frying chicken and she was talking something. It was just weird. And it was, it, well, I'm not going to say it was racist or nothing, but it was just weird, all right? Sis, sis was a little weird. She gave weird vibes. And now Jeezy weird too, you know what I mean? Jeezy, again, we love Jeezy, but something about this relationship was always off. And now in this divorce proceedings, it's getting crazy. And I just don't hope it doesn't carry over to the child. Because sis, why are you voicing that it's fire on concerns? When this is young Jeezy, he's a gangster rapper. Now you concerned about your daughter growing up in a wild environment? That's like me being concerned about Lil Wayne's kids growing up around girls shaking ass i know it come part of the territory this is young jeezy put the bottom on the map so again i think this claim is manufactured because she's still a little upset that he left her know what i mean so jeezy and jenny ty jenny ma jenny fry jenny i jenny la i just need y'all to come together and just amicably why we don't know this word I, I always be watching divorce proceedings and that got me a little scared of marriage because y'all do not know how to let people go in 2024 that's why i'm coming back with a new season of corpy show episodes to the first episode of one of the first is going to be how to let people go how to give up failed trash relationships because y'all be staying in some trash toxic nasty relationship just because you want somebody just because you got somebody but listen we don't both got to be a hell together Instead of going to heaven, y'all be going to hell in these relationships. And again, with this relationship lasts like two, three years, and they got a beautiful daughter. And I just hope that their divorce proceedings and the animosity doesn't spill over to her. Because you know how these things get. And again, what's next? Jeezy, now you got to report her. She got too many pans in the house. She got too many frying pans in the house. Or she got too many shoes. Because this is going to be pettiness. This just feels petty. And you know how petty is. Petty is as petty does. So now he got to do something petty. And this is going to lead to a long, drawn-out proceedings. And again, how you even get divorced in Atlanta? Don't, where divorces happen in Atlanta? In the Waffle House? Um, in a, the Waffle House courtroom? It should be 10 minutes to get a divorce in Atlanta. And go meet somebody else at Circle Lounge or something like that. Or Zari's. Can we talk about it? He had the rest of the yams in his auntie house. And have you never listened to this man lyrics? Did you just marry this man and not know who he was? Why do you think he would have guns and firearms in the house? This is Young Jizzle. Young Jizzy. His first song is called Soul Survivor. One of his first hit records is called Soul Survivor. Like, sis, like, listen. You know what I mean? Can we talk about it? You, again, that's like marrying Bruce Lee and like, oh, he do too much kung fu. Like, sis. Or you marrying LeBron, like he do too much basketball. That's what he's known for, 
All right. Not saying he should have firearms around a child, but it's Atlanta. Like you could have Atlanta got tanks. Atlanta got rocket launchers. You, you, you go to Atlanta and go to the random person call. They're going to pull out an AR-15 with a scope on it. Can we talk about it? So, again, Atlanta is not a real place. So anybody from Atlanta is not really a real person. So, Kim, sis, you knew what you was getting into. Just have just sign the divorce papers and y'all go y'all separate way. Y'all got to be carrying on for the holidays like this. Can we talk about it?